Hambone here with F1 Manager 2023. Getting ready to head to Baku for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. We got practice qualifying first. Uh, could be a could be a fairly decent race. Uh, let me show you what it looks like with all our new car parts added on. I kind of put the team into the hole making the front wing. No, the rear wing. No. Sorry, the suspension is what put us put us under. The third suspension put the car, put us uh, almost two million dollars in the hole, but it'll be all right. We're still not quite up on our low and high speed cornering, but we're getting there. I said this is the beginning of the rise of Alpha Romeo. This is the start. So, our accel acceleration and DRS effectiveness is has really improved. If we can get our dirty air tolerance and low and high speed cornering up, then we will start competing for top 10 finishes and hopefully by the end of the season start competing for podiums. That's one of my goal, to at least start competing for podiums by the end of the season. Unfortunately, Joe, Joe Guan Yu got his gearbox taken out, almost completely destroyed by Nick DeVries in the second race. His ERS got damaged, and his engine took damage. Some, but not much. Because Valtteri, 94%, he raced the entire race. Uh, we do have a second chassis coming for... No, we're going to leave that on. Because I have four of those. We will only have, we have a second rear wing and a chassis at the same time. Can't take a chance on the underfloor getting damaged in practice, so, or the suspension. All right. Uh, I think everything else is good to go. Oh, I'm scouting uh, someone who who I've wanted to scout and check out. Alex Polo, IndyCar driver. It just, just surprises me that they have an IndyCar driver on an F1 game. He's a... Uh, he was the, 20, I believe it was the 2021 IndyCar champion. So, yeah. Why he's the, he's under the McLaren brand, uh, the McLaren uh, in IndyCar, but he's not in F1. He's not a part of F1. He's in IndyCar. And he's trying to win a championship this season right now, like Max Verstappen is. Let's go. Greetings from Azerbaijan, where we're back in the country's capital. Well, it's not every weekend that Formula One arrives at a UNESCO World Heritage Site, but arrive here we have. Drivers will race around the historic streets of Baku, which includes the race calendar's tightest corner beneath a medieval fortress wall. Baku City Circuits challenges drivers like few other tracks. The tight section through the old city demands precision. The main straight, pure, aggressive acceleration, and every corner is a challenge for tyres. There's new blood competing for Aston Martin this weekend. Will they manage to be a game changer? The weekend begins here. If you're new to the channel or 
like the video, smash that subscribe button, like, share, comment, do all that. Oh yeah, I forgot, this is a sprint weekend. Oh hell yeah. I forgot that this is a sprint, a sprint race weekend. I, I can't believe I forgot. I just did it with M Williams and Logan Sargent. Poor Logan got taken out. He crashed all weekend long. Practice, qualify, uh, practice the sprint race and the main race. Yeah, you heard that right. Let's head out for our first practice session. Uh, actually, for much our only practice session. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on, boys. Three, both both drivers have completed three practice goals. Joe's at four now. Valtteri's at four. Hell yeah! Come on, boys. Come on, baby. Come on. I don't care with the control. I feel very natural with this balance at the minute. Hell Good yeah! That, that sounds really good. Thank you, Joe. Hopefully you're close to being perfect. Come on, Valtteri, you're going to do another lap. Huh? Yep. Oh, shit. Uh, well, let's try 11. Damn it. Well, hell with it. We'll try it. Give it a shot really quickly. Ooh, I don't know if I want to go out on soft tires or not. One, two, three, four, five. So we have six sets of soft tires, four sets of mediums. Hell with it. Let's just stand hard. Valtteri is now complete. Valtteri 95%. So. Let's see if we go up to three on the front wing, or should we go down to two?
Optimal brake stability, optimal traction, damn it. See if we go up to three, take this down to take it down one. Oh, shit. I'm afraid that's going to mess up the traction, damn it. So let's go down to two. Well, that's one, two, three, four, and that's five. And Joe back out on the track for his second practice run. Valtteri's out for his second practice run. Joe's already pr completed a practice goal. Joe Zhao, however you say his name. Valtteri's already got more now. Joe's got two. Wow. Joe might be able to get a third practice run in, or at least half of a third practice run. So three practice goals complete. Valtteri, come on Valtteri, get third one, get your third one complete. And Joe's about to get his fourth one complete, yep. Joe might complete his fifth one right when Valtteri completes his fourth one. No. Nope. Just after though. I'll call Joe in real quick. Still 81% went the wrong damn way with it. So he wants it at 10. And See if we go leave it at two point eight five. Hmm. 
Let's revert back to this. We try to lab and label was bad. So he wants it at 10. And 2.5. If we that, leave that at 2.80. Oh, we've got to go 2.85. Well, 2.9. Damn it, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to mess up and Joe's going to have low confidence heading into qualifying. <sighs> anyway, let's just, let's try it, 2.9. Point nine on the toe out, three seven on the anti roll distribution, ten on the rear wing angle, two on the front wing angle. Come on, Valtry, come on, baby. Don't tell me you're running another run lap. Yep, you are. Damn it. Come on, Valtteri. Are you gonna run? Uh, my God, you're gonna have to run a second lap. So, I'll take some quick comments. Keep the same. Understood. Seven, are you serious? So, if we go to 2.5, bring this down to 2.85, and it's down to 0.75. Seven, so we go hmm. If we go down to one point five. Bring that up to 2.95 and add up to 0.85. Okay. All right. And Joe's not on track for his third practice run. He puts everything he got. Hey, with. Copy. 
Let's see what you can do on these hard tires, maybe. See what you can do on them. Can you go faster than your teammate? Yeah, actually you can. Wow. See what valves we can do so on them. Push. Yep. Joe's completed two practice goals. Oh, okay. Valve three might get one. Flag. Mode push. Go back. Valve three does get one. Does Joe get the third one? Seventeenth and eighteenth. Wow. Great. Welcome everyone. Qualifying for the sprint awaits us and we're raring to get going. Yeah. Yep, in great this job. session, drivers will be fighting for grid positions in the weekend sprint race. Only the fastest ten will make it to Q3 where they're in with a chance of taking pole. Now there's been a bit of talk about Sergio Perez of late. How's he going to be feeling, do you think? They must be feeling good after their fast lap times in practice. Confidence can do great things for a driver, so I'm excited to see how they handle qualifying. And yep. with that, let's get back onto the track. Mm -hmm. I guess probably would have fairly decent confidence, but I sent him out one more time. Better go ahead and put the damn new chassis on the car. The front wing's already on, put the new rear wing on. Put the new underfloor on. And the new suspension. Oh shit, I don't know if I'm gonna have another chassis for Joe or not. Nope. God dang it. I don't have another damn rear wing for him either. <sighs> well, this will be the test of is this track better for top speed or cornering speed because I was gonna have better cornering speed than Valtteri but Valtteri is gonna have better top speed Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, those gonna have horrible setup. Horrible confidence, everything. Loud three, optimal on a straight, so he should be 100%. Second chassis, second front wing, third rear wing, second underfloor, third uh, suspension. All right, qualifying, here we come.
follow your delta, stay in negative. Box this lap and cool the engine. Copy. Follow delta, mine is on target. Over the line, charge on, charge on. Copy. Valtteri's faster than Magnuson and Sargent. Top eight right now. Let's see what happens if Valtteri follows Joe. Come on, Valtteri. Come on, Valtteri. Come on. Well, Joe runs a faster time. But he does not improve his position. My God. Well, Valtteri's in decent shape. He's half a second ahead of Esteban Archon. Okay, Valtteri, so we are currently in P9. Okay, Valtteri, that was a really good lap. Slow in. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely going to send Joe back. Well, damn it. Do I try to send Valtteri back out? Maybe I can send him out. There's a lot of debris ahead. Watch for debris. Come on, Joe. Across to start your lap, final lap. Oh, we have a lot of cars in front. You are the last car to start the, the qualifying lap. Three, two, one. Yes, you are the final car. What was the line? Valtteri's ahead of K-Mag, so Valtteri should be in good shape to make it Q2. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Valtteri's ahead of Archon. So Valtteri, about guaranteed to make it Q2. Are you kidding me, Valtteri? I mean, Joe. You're going to start dead last in the sprint race. Yep. He's going to start dead last. Son of a bitch. All because the damn chassis and rear wing come in on the second day and it happened to be a sprint weekend so qualifying happened early. Damn it. Hopefully Valtteri can make it. He's guaranteed to start top 15, so that's great. But hopefully he can make it to Q3.
Joe, 93% set up. So that's a lot better than what it was. It was 81. Valtteri, 99. We should have to like them out first. I'm hope, uh, I think we can get to Q3. I really believe we can get to Q3. Slow in, stay negative in no delta. And you can cool the engine a bit. Okay. I'm going to see him out on the same set of tires. And he goes ninth okay, fastest Valtteri, right now with nine. the. That was a really good lap. Can we get out one more time? Ah, dang it! I don't know if he can or not. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. He's not going to make it. God dang it. Nope, he's not going to make it to Q3. He's faster than Albon and Gasly. Can he beat Norris, Sonoda, and Hulkenberg? So Norris is going to cross the line first. We knew the player was going to beat him. Come on, Valtteri. Come on, Valtteri. Come on, baby. Qualifies Lando Norris. And I think he's going to get Sonoda and Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg's the one I'm worried about. I'm not really too worried about Yuki Sonoda. I think we've got Yuki. Hulkenberg has to pick up a, pretty much a second. Hulkenberg. No! Sonoda. Valtteri going to make it to Q3. I'm holding my breath. He does it! Yes! On to Q3! Hell yes! Whew! Wow! Good job. Holy hell! Hell yeah! Whew! Hell yes. Yeah, we didn't make it to Q3 with both drivers. Of course not. But we did make it to Q3 with one. Can Valtteri start higher than 10? And that should be the green light now. Valtteri coming out on a new set. Everyone else is coming out on a new set. 144.9. Great time. Incredible time. Hell yes.
And he's slower than Archon. And he's still 10th. He always seems to run a faster lap the second time around. So we go send him out on the used set and put a new set on him. I'm gonna I'm wait. I'm, I'm gonna throw him out on the used set again. Send him out on the same set of tires and save that extra set of soft tires for the main event because we're probably running the, the sprint race with. Uh, a soft set, a set of soft tires, so. seconds off the estimate right well off the pole at the moment one and a half seconds so he's coming up behind his former teammate Lewis Hamilton maybe he can get DRS off of Lewis and it'll help us out Now we slower through sector one, slower through sector two. Nope. We'll start tenth. We'll take it. We'll take it. A tenth place starting spot for the sprint race. Yuki Sonora starts eleventh. Albon twelfth. Lando thirteenth. Now he ran a faster time than all. Every one of those drivers, so Valtteri has a great shot to come home with a top 10 during the main event race and score some points. Let the AI take care of the practice session because there's no sense in me even messing with it. Valtteri 11th fastest in practice. Nico Hulkenberg goes faster. Hulkenberg, we may have to, we may have to try to hold him off. Driver prep, 71%. Joe, 77%. Both are medium uh, driver confidence. So. This weekend, it's something a little bit different, as the Grand Prix grid is decided by more racing in today's eagerly anticipated sprint. Of course, this is the first sprint of the season, adding an extra challenge for the drivers if and their teams. But as ever, in Formula One, an extra challenge is an extra opportunity. Points go to the top finishers in the sprint. 
and with no mandatory pit stops, it's all about the racing on the track. So let's see then how the teams tackle today's sprint here in Baku. If Valtteri can pick up a spot in the sprint race and start in eighth or ninth, that will be incredible. That about guarantee points. Uh, about guarantee points for the weekend. If he manages to beat one of them, I would guarantee that he would score points. We're going to start off by pushing with everything we can. Zero's going to push the entire race from start to finish. Fuel for Valtteri also. Alright. And that will do it for now. Oh no, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 wow. Yeah, I about messed up. I about screwed Valtteri completely, didn't I? NRS, put the better gearbox on the car. I about screwed Joe too. Car parts. Engine, the better engine. The better ERS. And the better gearbox. Alright. That will do it. Thank y'all for watching. If you enjoyed the video or new to the channel, smash the hell subscribe button, like, share, comment, do all that. I'll be back very soon for the sprint race and the main event race from Azerbaijan. Yeah, have a great day. I'll see y'all soon.